Hello, this is Eric Catch with Century 21 coming from beautiful Sierra Foothills. Uh, today we have a special guest. I wanted to uh, introduce you, Bill Ango from Asset Preservation. Uh, a lot of people, um, there's so much changes with the tax law and things that are happening with uh, tax exchanges, 1031 tax exchanges. And so I wanted to inter introduce Bill and he's going to share some of the new things uh, that, are, that are happening, some of the things that might be happening. So if we're considering maybe a 1031, just to give us that advice that we need to be updated and make some financial great decisions. So Bill, Thank you. Thanks for having me. I'm Bill Ango with Asset Preservation. We're a national qualified intermediary for 1031 exchanges. We've been around for over 30 years. As far as changes, we should first talk about threats. Um, in my 24 years with a company, uh, someone told me that you're in a business that could be legislated out of business by tomorrow. And so the latest is with the Biden administration, um, with their next year's budget, have placed a or trying to place a limitation on 1031 exchanges. Whereas if you were single, you would only be entitled to $500,000 of gain per year if you did an exchange, and you could only do one exchange per year. If you're married filing jointly, then you would only get a million dollars of gain per year, which you know, think about it, it's not everybody, mm -hmm. but on a larger scale, um, on a commercial building that could really hurt people, uh, being able to be limited to one exchange a year and a million dollars. So that's why it's important that you Keep up on legislation. I'm sure Eric has a connection on that area or contact me, uh, bill at apiexchange.com and get you more information. As far as trends in the 1031 world right now, we're seeing a lot of people exchanging out of California. Go figure. Uh, probably the number one state that we're seeing people go to, at least I'm getting phone calls for, is Tennessee, followed by Idaho, Texas, Florida, and I'm getting a lot of calls right now from the Carolinas. But uh, one of the things that as the boomers are retiring, they're thinking about places they want to live or visit. So we see people exchanging into Hawaii, Scottsdale. We're doing a lot of exchanges up in Tahoe. Uh, we're doing a lot of reverse exchanges right now where you may have somebody that has or wants to buy a cabin in Tahoe, but the inventory up there is like ours here. And so they can do a reverse exchange where they use a qualified intermediary to take title to the new property they're gonna buy and then they have 180 days to sell their old property and exchange into that one. Important to note is in an exchange, the property that you're selling and the property you're buying need to be held for an investment. Can't be strictly a second home, cannot be a primary residence. So those are kind of the, the things that we're seeing. And I would just last like to say is, if you're contemplating an exchange, reach out to me or to Eric uh, in advance. Um, last minute exchanges are possible, but generally speaking, we like to have people set up an exchange about a week to two weeks before close of escrow. Thank you for that reminder on that because that is important. So, yeah, I've got a lot of people. I've actually purchased a property in te and to Tennessee recently, and I know there's a lot of people moving there. So, like, I've got somebody who moved down to the Bay Area, but their assets are still up here, and now they're kind of going, wow, what do I do? Do I want to hang on to them? Do I want to, like, move them? But moving their assets from here down to the Bay Area is a little bit probably the wrong way to go mm -hmm. dollar-wise. Right. But there's always solutions. So if there's something that you guys want to do or move some assets, being a little bit closer to you, if you do decide to move, feel free to reach out to me. Bill's my main guy when it comes to that 10. 31. So thank you guys for watching and we'll talk to you later. Take care.